Hi, this is Dr. Neil Schwartz. In previous videos, we spoke of Accutane, oral antibiotics, and simple benzoyl peroxide routines. Today we're going to be talking about lasers for the treatment of active acne. While many laser technologies have emerged in the last two decades, we're going to simplify this conversation by breaking down all laser treatments into three basic categories. Category number one, focused light therapy. Now, this isn't an actual laser, but the light emitted from these devices has been used to treat acne. The intent of these devices is to bring down inflammation and to kill bacteria. Here's my opinion on focused light therapy. While it may temporarily reduce inflammation and temporarily kill some bacteria, it's far too expensive to be considered as a real acne treatment for long-term chronic sufferers. If you don't have active acne year-round and once in a while get a flare-up and find these devices to be helpful, that's great. It's a good service and should be thought of as a spa service, not as a solution for chronic acne. Despite any claim, these treatments are not effective at future prevention in someone with long-standing acne. Category number two is pulsed laser therapy. In this category, we're speaking of all the devices that require the patient and the practitioner to be wearing protective goggles and the pulse of light comes fast and penetrates deeper. The intent of these pulsed laser therapies are to penetrate deep enough to bring down inflammation faster and to kill bacteria. They also have claimed to shrink oil glands, which has been a big selling point in getting unsuspecting acne patients to spend thousands of dollars on this treatment. Here's my opinion on pulsed laser therapy for active acne. While this treatment can bring down inflammation temporarily, it also does nothing for the future prevention of acne. The claim that these therapies shrink oil glands would be better described as they temporarily shrink oil glands in the same way a very good facial does. In my opinion, intense light therapy should be seen as an expensive facial. That's not to say it's not great, because facials can be great as well. So here's my problem with this treatment. They are marketed as a solution for long-standing acne. And in that communication, you can create a lot of false hope, a lot of wasted money, and a lot of heartache when the acne quickly returns after treatment. Many unsuspecting acne patients have spent their life savings on high-priced laser therapy that they thought would shrink their oil glands permanently. That communication, that marketing, is the real injustice. These treatments are fine if you can get them for a good deal or if you just want them to temporarily bring down your inflammation. But if you think you're going to do a series of lasers and then six months later not have any acne problems, you do not yet understand the chronic inflammatory nature of acne. There is no one treatment that can knock down a chronic inflammatory process for life. So as long as everyone understands that these pulsed laser therapies are just expensive facials and their aim is to temporarily bring down inflammation and to temporarily shrink oil glands, this is a fine treatment if time and money are not a consideration or a concern for you. If, like most people, time and money are important to you, I don't recommend pulsed laser therapy for the treatment of your chronic, long-standing acne condition. Category number three, ablative laser therapy for active acne. CO2 lasers and other ablative lasers have been used for scar treatments and many other dermatologic procedures for many years. They are incredibly powerful at resetting the skin and pulling off all the top layers in one shot. Ablative lasers are still a good option when treating cosmetic issues, scarring, and other issues that are not based in active inflammation. What has happened in the last several years is that doctors have started to treat active acne situations with ablative lasers in an attempt to completely obliterate the top surface of skin and essentially reset the whole system. While this has helped some, it has hurt many others and it is my opinion that this extreme measure is not necessary in the treatment of severe acne. 
severe acne can be treated without a huge downtime, which is what these ablative lasers bring. For reasons of cost, lack of medical necessity, and real risk of side effects, I don't recommend ablative laser surgery for anyone suffering with active acne. So, since we're talking about all acne treatments, let's also talk about marketing and how these expensive treatments got hyped up in our culture and why they are leading unsuspecting acne patients to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on their skin at this time. The reason lasers got so hyped up is because laser therapy has had some incredible medical success in other fields. For example, laser hair removal is a great use of money. It has a very high success rate and has permanently removed hair on a huge percentage of people doing this procedure. For this reason, laser hair removal is recommended by me. Lasers are great in many procedures in medicine, but lasers for active acne are not necessarily great. They have helped some and they've decreased inflammation for others temporarily and they've allowed people to get control so that they can start a very good preventative routine after and in some ways have created a solution. But they have also left countless people completely active even after spending thousands of dollars on treatments. I've had many, many clients come to me saying they've spent over $10,000 in laser therapy. These clients come to me with full faces of acne as if they never spent a dime. Because this situation is so common, my official opinion is that laser therapy is not recommended for those with chronic active acne. Not because it doesn't help, it's because it sets up false hope, a poor preventative strategy, and certainly is not showing to be a solution. In future videos, We'll be talking about board certified dermatologists, estheticians, and holistic healers in the treatment of acne. Everything will be on the table and there will be no stone left unturned in the treatment of acne. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.